All right, all right. Best podcast in the Carolinas, North and South. This is Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Mag, C11 Studios. Got a special guest in the building tonight. One time, Southside Ghost. All right. What's happening? What's happening? Let's get it. Let's get it. Appreciate all job. right. Now, let me ask you this. It's pronounced Ghost, but why Ghost? Why'd you spell it like Ghost? Is it spelled like Ghost? Yeah. G A U. I thought the A U X make a O sound. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I like that. See? Yeah. I always wanted to know that. Yeah, I, mean, I only spelled it like that because uh, Styles P not one of my favorite artists, but he did come before me. But Ghostface mm. is the one, you know. I'm a Wu Tang baby, so Woo. I didn't want to just, I, I, I didn't want to just steal Ghost. I wanted to make it like my own, you know. Very and good. It, sometimes I feel like I should have just went with Southside the regular Ghost spelling because I feel like I lost a lot of following spelling it the way I spell it. Mm. But I'm already in deep with the name, so. Yep. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, baby. Okay, let us know where you're from and what area code you're ripping, dog. Oh, uh, okay. Shit, the nigga, I'm from Nation Four Road, Charlotte, North Carolina. X and mm. Four, representing the Seven O Four. You know. All right, all right. Big yeah. Seven O Four, Big Queen City. Tap in. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody you want to give a shout out to before we get started? Shit, man. Shout out. Shit, I want to give out give a shout out to. Uh, my family, mm -hmm. family, my wife, my kids. Yep. That's about it. All right, man. Shouts out to the wife and the kids, man, the whole camp. All right, for sure. All right. Uh, let us know how and why you initially got into rapping. Man, my, my brother rapped. My brother about seven years older than me, and uh, mm. you know he was crazy about music, which kind of, in a way, made me crazy about music. And then, yeah. Uh, my whole upbringing, I freestyled all on the activity bus, all mm. throughout college and shit. I free, I was freestyling this shit. So mm -hmm. when college was wasn't a thing no more, like it was almost like second nature. I just jumped right into it, you know. Mm -hmm. People thought because I was a ball player, like I was just gonna be bullshitting with it. I was gonna be playing around, but it was just something that was in my blood that I had. I never really knew how deep it ran in my blood. So wow. I just kind of went with it and stayed with it. Yeah, very yeah. good, very good. So it was always in your blood from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I always been, you know, skilled and always been able to. Y'all there? Yep. Keep going. Okay. I always been able to um, just freestyle really, really well. Put words together really well. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, boy. That's what's up, man. I can tell, uh, Ghost, you on the rise, brother. Uh, I appreciate it, man. You are definitely on the rise, man. What does the city of Charlotte mean to you? City of Charlotte home. You know, it's just home. It's where I feel the most comfortable. You know, it's where I get the most love in more ways than one. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's really like it's a comfort zone. Yeah. You know, and it's a, it's a it's an attitude. It's an attitude for me too. It's pros mm -hmm. and con it's pros and cons to that, but nonetheless yeah. it's an attitude. That's right. That's right, man. I got to go back out to Queen City, man. I'm trying to see them uh, Charlotte Hornets, man. Oh, yeah. Pull up on me, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most definitely, man. If we need a place to stay, I'm calling you. Oh, pull up. Y yeah, good. that's for sure. <laughs> Matter of fact, we're supposed to be going out to Charlotte next month for the uh, DJ Chuck T event that he's oh, having. Okay. Yeah, I fuck with Chuck T, man. Y'all um, y'all come on a Tuesday. We go to the studio. I normally be in the studio on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Y'all pull up and rock out with me, man. Yeah, absolutely. We'll bring the cameras and uh, we'll go to work. For sure. Okay. All right, man. Now, how is it in Charlotte as far as the dangers that lurk in Queen City being in your position? Shit, it ain't really no dangers. Like, like it is some, but, you know, okay. I'm a little older, so I move a certain way, you know, so right. I don't really deal with what the average person might be dealing with when, it, like, you know... I, I don't come across it. I don't move. I don't move in a way that's gonna be bringing harm to me. You said dangerous, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah nah, we ain't really coming across that too often these days no more. It used to be. It used to be more of a thing when I was a little younger. But yeah, you know, and I ain't saying it like it ain't happening or I, I'm above it. But right. you got to You got to know how to move wherever you at. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, because yeah, I remember growing up, um, going to Charlotte. It, it, it had that vibe in the air. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
This was back in 2015, 16, where it was really rough. Yeah, it's still really rough. But like I said, man, you know, I'm I'm raised, I'm from here. I spent a lifetime here. So I'm all the way, I ain't going to say disconnected, but if, if like, I don't even be amongst that energy for real. You know what I mean? Like, but it's still it's still around. It's still okay. around. Hey yeah, man, yeah. One, one time for uh Southside Ghost boy in the building. <laughs> gotta stay safe, gotta stay on your toes, all right. You gotta stay on it, you gotta stay dangerous too, because I ain't playing with these little niggas either. Like I also <laughs> I also take my shit with me wherever I go. I'm walking my kids around, mm. I'm taking my trash out. I mean, it don't matter. You yep. know, I'm one, I'm one of them kind of guys. No, that's that's a yeah. fact. That's a fact, baby. Okay. Hey, tell us how's that CMOS working for you, player? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that CMOS. <laughs> hey, look. Why you put me on the CMOS a, uh, a few years ago, man? It, yeah. You know, I don't do a whole lot of healthy shit, so that shit hit me like a brick. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. So it really cleans out your insides. Man, I ain't even sure what all she say that shit do, but all I know is, you know, like she influenced that line. So mm. that that line, I think you referencing. So you know, because it just made me feel like I got more energy than I normally would. Have. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It give you. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Now talk to us about that tour you got coming up cross country with Primo Rice. Oh yeah, that's uh. This is part two, where I'm uh. I guess I'm opening for him, you know. So uh, the first tour, the first tour was in March, and that, that was like the whole month of March, or was it April? Uh, I don't. It was, it was March, but um, we getting ready. We getting ready to pop out the second leg in November. So wow. I'm starting to get real excited about that, man. That's what's up, man. You going on a big tour with Primo? I love Primo's rice. That's like, yeah. that's like another Larry June right there, man. Right, right. That's yeah. the homie right there, man. So you know he been showing love. Yeah, give me this opportunity to show showcase myself and do what I need to do to continue to grow my brand. Mm -hmm. You know, so I uh the first the first leg of the tour it really helped me realize like this is what I'm here to do. You know, I it it always been in question because I never really got to look like that. Yeah, where I could just make sure I gotta be gone for a month. You know, I never really traveled for a month. Yeah, so you know it it had to I had to make sure this is what I want to do and this is what I want to do. That's right. That's right. It's hey, yeah. I always tell people what God got planned for you is only meant for you. Right. And okay. I, I saw a homie of mine post the other day, man. He said, uh, if you got an opportunity to go on tour, just drop basically drop everything you're doing and go. You know, yeah. right? that's how serious that opportunity is. If this is what you want to do. Yep. You know, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it. Tap in. That's very good. Okay. Explain to us what PSM means and what is it. Oh, that's Proper Sound Media. That's my that's my label slash company. You know, that's what I'm pushing right now. There you go. Yeah, it's Proper Sounds, Proper Sound Media, Proper Sound Mafia. You know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tap in. Tap in. Now, is that a, a independent label just for you, or is it a label where you sign in other artists? Oh, right now it's just for me until I, you know, until I have a way that I can help another artist. But that's the mm -hmm. goal. You know, I made mm -hmm. it because that's always been my real dream is to be a a label owner slash executive, you know, slash A and R, whatever, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to call it. But I definitely plan on signing artists in in the future. That's good. And you're not yeah. signed to a label. You still independent yourself. I'm still independent, but I need some money. Somebody mm -hmm. bring me that money, man. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Hey, man, Sports Brothers Media, I am Hip Hop Mag, Southside Ghost, man, 704 in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, talk to us about this. Talk to us about that big uh, ghost, I mean, ghost podcast you got working on. Excuse me. Man, that was just something at the beginning of the pandemic. I wanted to take that time to pick up a new craft and learn something new, man. And I did it for about 13 weeks. I did it up until I dropped my next project and when i dropped my next project it just kind of you know redirected me into what i felt like i needed to be doing which is making mm. music so i so i slowed down on the podcast podcast space because yeah. everybody was telling me like yo you should do the podcast you know you're good at it etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah but it didn't i got tired of talking about other people mm. and i started struggling with current events and i started struggling with you know, just wanting to do it really fast. Like after 13 weeks, I just started struggling with it. And once I okay. dropped music again, I was like, all right, I'm going to scale back from the podcast and I'm going to get back 
to my yeah. job, job. Yeah. Because one thing is levels the podcast, but two is different type of podcast. Right. I seen you was kind of like in the cut by yourself doing it. That was another thing. I needed somebody to talk to. I got tired of talking to myself. I started feeling yep. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. And then sometimes when you talking on people and content, it gets kind of, it's like, I don't even like gossip podcasts to be yeah. honest with you. You see I, what I'm saying? Yeah. I was trying to refrain from it. Like every now and then I watch Joe Budden, but whenever I watch Million Dollar mm -hmm. Worth of Game, they don't even talk about people. They don't gossip at all. Wow. You know I mean, like it's another podcast I've been watching, like, oh, the Dirty Street Confessions, I think it's called. But okay. I started to look watching my podcast back and I'm like, why am I talking about Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion? Like, yeah, if Tory Lanez called me right now, I would want to work with him and I'm on here speaking ill on him. You know what I mean? It just mm. wasn't feeling like that's something I need to be doing. So I just took a step back. Yeah, yeah, but it was yeah. fun. It was fun while I'm fucking with it, though. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, because people love to listen to another person's uh, mind. Right. See what I'm saying? So it's very right. uh, informative, man. Okay. What can you tell all the other artists that might see you and want to do a feature with Ghost Man? Um, shit, I do that shit for whatever, long as the song dope right now. Mm. But you know, okay. it's, it, it's hard to it's it's hard to gauge what I would charge somebody. But the only thing that would move me, and it ain't really about the money, is if the song dope. If the song dope, I do a song with any motherfucking body. There you go. You know what I mean, but if I gotta, I'm just being one hundred. Like you know, I know it's this is probably not the correct way to do or say the business. But like, if I see what it is before, I probably shoot a number out. There you go. Because you, you ask if they want to do a, a song with me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just, dope shit move me, bro. Like, dope music move me. I do that shit. We can get in there. We can build. You feel me? Right. And not only does your song got to be dope, but your background got to be, uh, exactly. Cool. That too. That too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. One more time for Ghost, man. I'm having fun with this, boy. I know you next up. I'm waiting for it. Hey, I'm, waiting I'm on for the way. It. You there already. I'm on the way, man. I'm on the way. I got a quick bullshit. Yep. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, listen, we on our way too. For sure. Yep. Okay. So you when you okay, I ain't gonna I was gonna ask, do you do a lot of sports talk? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. I had I had followed you up there. Make sure you follow uh the sports page back. Okay. And uh we interview a lot of NBA players, a lot of NFL players, we interview uh kids, the whole nine, bro. Okay. That's what's yeah. up. So I can't wait to meet you in person and just keep this thing uh, going, bro. Yeah, I still want to get up there because I would have preferred to do it in person, but it was like, man, it's gonna be a little tough. It's yeah. gonna, it was gonna be later than sooner before I could get get to Raleigh and shit. So I was like, let's just do it, you know. Well, the thing is, uh, we'll get this one out the way, and then the second one to be here. Yeah. Okay. You hear okay. me? Yes, sir. Okay. Listen, talk to us about the good old boy club. Do you believe they're targeting us as a whole or just the lyrics some of these rappers are spitting? Call them the good old boy club. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. they targeting us. They always been targeting us. Yeah. Don't get me in that bag. I get deep in that bag. Shit. I know. It's all it's always they always been targeting us, bro. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, now we do gotta be careful. Like if we if we spend true crimes, it's been yeah. you know, we've been We've been feeling like we we can't we haven't been heard for so long. We don't we don't started spitting real crimes just to be mm. heard, just to get our therapy out, just to say what we need to say. And yeah. now them white folks using it against us, you know. Yeah. So we can't all the way be mad at that. We got to be a little sharper on that. But yeah. nonetheless, I was just watching Killer Mike. You know the lady that wrote the the article, uh, how to kill your husband. She went and killed her husband, but what? She, but but they couldn't use the article. So that's a direct mm. correlation, like how we get targeted and the white folks don't. You know what I mean? So, mm. yeah, like, yeah, if, the, if they gonna do their job, do their job, but using our music is, shouldn't be able to be admissible or admitted because, or whatever the correct term is. Because at the end of the day, if you gonna do your job, like you said, do your job. Yeah. Because I could be a regular rapper just rapping about shit I seen in the streets. Right. You see what I'm saying? But, right. but the counter- now nah, listen, Ghost, when they come out with these motherfucking movies, all these mob movies and shit, y'all don't right. target the actors. Right. So come on, keep this shit all the way 100. Right. But, yep. you know, it's a counter to that that we got to be responsible for, too. Like how we just was watching 
Jeffrey Dahmer, let's just say Jeffrey Dahmer never got caught. And then Jeffrey Dahmer starred in the Jeffrey Dahmer show. That will mm. be a different conversation. Those yeah. actors is actors, even no matter what they act in, those are actors. So we got to make sure we take part, myself included. You know what yeah. I mean? We got to keep it storytelling in some form or fashion. Because yeah. most of these artists is dealing with this shit is uh, people who's bringing harm to other people. So if you committing yeah. a murder and then go rapping about a murder, that's the other side that I can't yeah. really take defense for. But nonetheless, that's they right. shouldn't be able to use that shit in the court. You know what I mean? Like, just do yeah. your job. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yes, and we can make their job harder by not telling on ourselves in these records. Yep, that's right. Because at the end of the day, this rap shit is a money ticket. And uh, right. they know motherfuckers is making money. So let me bring you in the court and let me get some of that. Yep. And the labels is only higher, higher uh, uh, signing motherfuckers that are telling on themselves. Mm. Don't get me in this bag, man. I thought. <laughs> hey, did you watch the whole uh, episodes of Jeffrey Dahmer on Netflix? I did. I got through that shit. Oh, I can get through the past first one, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too much, man. Too much. It, it is too much. It is too much. But you know, it's just a day and time. Like I'm here for the information, man. I just yeah. try to. I try to get out of. I try to get out of my way. It's been. It's been deep. I got. A younger sibling who just make me want to open my mind up. My my little sister, you know, yeah. I try to open my my mind up to the world that she might be living in and shit like that. So I watch certain things like Euphoria and shit like that. You know, yeah. I just kind of make me understand what's going on in today's time. I love Euphoria. That's just hard. See, you could watch Euphoria, but you couldn't get past episode one of Jeffrey Dumb. Well, you because Jeffrey yeah. is too is too sick for me. You know what I mean. Yeah. Euphoria is more like a a, a drug culture uh show. You, with, Euphoria with was some of the sickest shit I ever had to watch. What's that? Euphoria was sick for me. <laughs> that shit was totally different. <laughs> wow, that's tough, man. Yeah, but I did end up loving it though because it was very very well written and very yeah. well shot. That's right. That's right. I think that's yeah. on HBO Max. Yeah, that shit was good. Yeah, yeah, tap in, man. Hey, I got my partner here, Hip Hop Mag. You got any questions for Big Ghost, man? Man, shit, who in your top five, man? Greatest of all time. Oh, shit. You yeah. know, that's a, that's a loaded one. That's a loaded yeah. one right there. Shit, I got, uh, I know I got Jay. Mm -hmm. I know I got, I got, uh, I'm going to just say UGK. I'm going to put them together, but really, uh, it's Pimp C. Word, okay. I knew um, it. Shit, I know I got Big. I know I got Pac. And I'll probably put Kendrick in there. And, right, that's solid. That's and solid. excuse me, not Pimp C, but I was bragging about you. I said, man, you know who this nigga ghost sound like? This nigga sound like Slim Thug. Oh, man. People been telling me that lately. Yes, bro. So, is it my voice or is it the flow? It's 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 your voice. Y'all y'all stand about the same height. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's the flow. It's everything, bro. Damn. Yes. Damn. Y'all yeah, been hearing that a lot lately, man. Hey, then you know it's true. Right, right. <laughs> okay, tap in, man. Best podcast in the Carolinas. Uh, talk to us about some new singles you got and the uh, projects you got working on in the future. Yeah, I'm actually dropping a single tomorrow uh, called Dirty Harry. That's just something I wanted to get out to the street. Mm. And um, I'm dropping my third installment, my third installment of my Hiding in Plain Sight series. Yeah. So that's coming 1025. I so seen um, I just I just was down the whole summer, man. My morale's down. Like I had got surgery on my leg, mm. and that took me took my summer away. I was I was moving all moving slow all summer, man. So yeah. this project is kind of like it just feel like I'm. People been asking me all summer, you know, what I'm doing next, when I'm coming back, what I'm what I got going on. So it's just I'm really happy to release this this song tomorrow along with this project in, in the next two weeks. Hey, there you go, right man. Before, right before I go on tour, so. Yeah, Ghost Man. Ghost Man. I can't wait to hear it, buddy. Oh, and that motherfucker loaded, too, man. Can I curse on here? I know oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell okay. yeah. Okay. Hey, and speaking of sports, uh, Ghost, what you think about the Brittany Griner situation, her getting nine years in the Russian prison? Oh, shit. What were we just talking about, being targeted? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's targeting, man. I don't feel like that was the first time traveling with them. I feel like they was trying to make a trade of some sort. Mm. You know, I don't feel like she really in there. Like, I don't mm. know if that's disrespectful to her family and her situation at all. I feel mm. like, you know, because I saw somewhere, like, she could stay in there and she could coach or something. Like, they might be letting her ass out through the back door every night. I don't know. I think it was some 
pop, some political media mm. move. But that's just my train of thought. I, I hate to say shit like that out loud because I don't know who all that affects. You know what I mean? But that's what I honestly feel about the situation. Well, we're going to keep it real on this podcast because I'm thinking she's one of she's the LeBron James of the WNBA, one. Right. And two, if they can keep her over there just to play for a Russia team, it, it, it's good for them. Right. And then they talk about, oh, well, you can coach over here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they said that, right? She can coach while she's in prison? That's right. Some that crazy, crazy shit like that. I ain't heard that. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. hey, we hope for a speedy process, a quick a quick swap, whatever they can do. Right. So Free Brittany Grinder, man. I hope yeah. that I wasn't insensitive to anybody's situation, man. Hey, tap in, man. Free BG. Uh, right. Speaking of sports, favorite NBA or NFL team? Oh, I'm, I'm a hometown guy. So, you know, I'm Panthers and Hornets all the way. Win, lose, draw. Win, lose, draw. Hey, that's it. That's it. Me too. Me too. If there's any artists out there that you want to work with, who would those artists be, Ghost? Like on a, a a local level or just in the world? Just in the world. Damn. Man, I would I would love to do a song with Andre 3000. Damn, I ain't put him in my top five. Top five is a loaded <laughs> question, bro. Like, I really need 10, 15. Man, yeah. Um, I would love to do something with Andre 3000. I would love to do something with Jeezy. Because yeah. Jeezy, motiv Jeezy motivate my sound a lot. You know, if anybody really take the time to listen to me, I'm not a drill artist at all. I'm money motivation. I'm, mm. um, you know, I might talk some shit, but it's only about protecting myself and making money. That's that's the gist of my music. And I get that from Jeezy. I always wanted to do a record with Jeezy. Mm. Uh it's a lot of people on the local level that I would I would want to do a song with, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tap in. Tap in. And how yeah, old sure. is both man? You look about twenty nine. I I look twenty nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm thirty one, bro. Yeah, I was I was, I was close. Yeah, I'm thirty one. I'm getting old, man. Hey. How, how long you plan on rapping? There you go. Oh, I ain't gonna stop this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm too deep in it. It's too many yeah. lanes that I, that I could play in. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm, I ain't gonna stop till I get my just due. Till I get my label off the ground. Shit, we gonna keep pushing this thing through me. Yes, sir. And once that label gets off the ground, you want to be in a position where you kind of sign another artist, like you said, and exactly. be a CEO. Yep. Like Lil Baby, he 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 did a little bit. He got out the way. He yeah. went and got Juice World. Now he yeah. got who we got? Kid Leroy. Yeah. You know. Like he barely even rapped for two, three years, man. Hey, that's and it. Man. Get that money though. Get that yeah. Money. Hey, gotcha. man. How how humbling is it, man, to be in the presence of a guy like Primo Rice that's really working at a high level? Oh, it's very humbling because I um he was big when I met him, but I met him back in 2015, and the mm. DJ at our store in Houston, we used to have his clothing store, and um the DJ was like, "Yo, we got to book this dude, Primo Rice." And I was like, who the fuck is that? So, you know, I went online. And I'm like, damn, he dope. But yeah. he wasn't where he is now, of course. But yeah. he was doped in. And we've been locked in since 2015. I've been pulling up any state he was at, any show that he invited me to all over the country. We've been pulling up. So just to see him grow, to go on tour with him, you know, he bringing out three, 400 people, every single venue all across the nation. <laughs> like he's showing me how real it is, you know, and he got a cult following. He can do yeah. this shit forever. He could tour twice a year forever and, and take care of his, take care of himself. So you know, yeah. I love seeing that. That shit motivational. You feel me? Very. Yeah. Humble. That's yeah. very humble. very. And he's solid too. Like he broke bread oh. with me when he ain't have to. He the first artist who did a, who split a song with me. You know, I did a verse. He called me and said, yeah. "Yo, what's your email? I'm sending you your percentage of the song." You know, yeah. in in a time when when artists. You know, now it's a thing you can add to teams, but during this time they wasn't doing that the way they supposed to. Yeah, yeah. For real. That's crazy, man. Primo yeah. Rice is, is I love his music as well. And yeah. not only is he solid, but he's so nonchalant with it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Ghost Man, Ghost Man in the building, man. Sports yeah, Better Media. I am hip hop mag, C eleven studios, best podcast, North and South, big money. What's it going to take for our Carolina artists to get heard up out the South? Man, I feel like, you know, if we would, if we would accept, like, we more, we see, I feel like we know more for our a lyrical, our lyrical ability. You know, we got guys mm -hmm. like Mez, guys like Luke, G Yamazawa out there with y'all. 
We okay. got guys like De Niro Ferrar. Okay. We got Rhapsody. A lot of people in that vein, that the, the real music vein. Now, mm-hmm. if we want more trap artists, more street artists, I just feel like the sound honestly got to get better. More art, more artists got to really have some money. They got, you know what I mean? Because when I be moving around, I be like, damn, these street artists, they really, really be up tickets and their music be sounding good in Atlanta and Florida and, and Houston. It, it, it just be a different, a different little step to the, to the street artists. Yeah. So I always jump out there and say that, uh, what's the word, what's the term I'm looking for? You know, I just always say that any chance I get like the street artists, we just gotta, I feel like it gotta go to another level as a whole. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I listen to every single body that come across my phone like i'll take the time and listen to whatever they got going on because i think it's time i feel like we close yeah yeah Yeah, i feel like like we super super close yep yep we definitely close my boy okay tap in man uh favorite place you want to visit in the future man i want to go to greece i want to go to indonesia i got a teammate from college playing over in indonesia and it just looks so beautiful over there Mm. I only ever been to Mexico. I only been out the country one time in my life. So I just want to, I've been everywhere in the States. I just want to get out of the country to some of these uh, beautiful, excuse me, some of these beautiful places. Yeah, man. And meet some beautiful women. Yeah. yeah. That's for sure. You say your boy play over there too? Yeah, he playing over there. He the MVP over there. That's why I should have gave a shout out to my brother, Bam, man. He yeah. came up, we came up out the mud together. He just won the MVP at the uh, Indonesia Basketball League, man. He really... And the yeah. championship too, not just the MVP. Like he really a dog. Yeah, I seen you in that uh in the video score, man. You was you was hooping, boy. You you were oh, throwing yeah, your yeah. Hey, it looked I like used, you used to hoop too. Yeah, I used to hoop. Yeah, I played in college. So I used to hoop. What college you played at? I went to Elizabeth City State. Go ahead, Ghost Man. Yeah, I went to Elizabeth City State. What year was this? From 09 to 2012. That's crazy. Yeah. People don't know about that. Right. That's and dope. I, I always told myself, no matter how big my brand grow, like any artist I ever found out went to college and played ball, did anything like that, I had to do my own research. I never hear them mention it in interviews. Like they trying mm-hmm. to hide who they is or some shit. You know what <laughs> I mean? And that shit used to fuck with my mind because I'd be like, damn, I never knew this nigga. This, this motherfucker here went and played ball in school. Like they be trying to hide that they went to college uh-huh. and shit. And I'd be like, nah, I'm always, because it's a little a level of inspiration in that. Okay, that's dope, bruh, bruh. Yeah, hey, yeah. let me ask you this. And speaking, and I guess you'll say it, if you wasn't rapping, what would you be doing? Boy, I can't even say, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say, but it's a, it's a shit, boy. You know, I'm wired different, bruh. So, you know, I'll just be, I'll be hustling. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be I have an assortment of hustles, you, you know what I mean? I'll still be on the entrepreneur journey. I'll probably own a box truck, you know, I'll probably own a truck or a food yeah, truck yeah, or yeah, some yeah. of that nature. I'll be yeah. getting it out the mud. I wouldn't be doing it for nobody else because I never have, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'll be owning a business somewhere for sure. You got to do it for yourself because if you if if you ain't good, nobody else is. Right, right. So that's it, dog. Uh, let me ask you this. and and. Tell the viewers how important it is to be a basketball player and switch from rapping or whatever else it is and not keeping your ego strictly as an athlete. How? Okay, how important it is to switch from playing ball to rapping but not keeping your ego? Well, well, basically what I'm saying is some guys, they get wrapped up into just thinking that all they were was an athlete. Right. And uh, and I tell people, it, you more than just an athlete. You can be anything you want in this world. Oh, see, it was a little different for me because even though I played in college, like it's not like I was. I was never like a superstar. You know, those okay. days over after high school. Yeah, I wasn't like no superstar. I just I played though. So yeah. you know, I was there. I played. I did my thing. But I was never like uh, it got that. I had already gotten out of that in high school. Those days was over. Like I thought okay. I was gonna be the man when I got to college, but I just wanted the man. Yeah. You feel me? So, but ego is sometimes, you know, d- depending on how you channel your ego, you might need that sometimes. Sometimes that help people break through. Like, I feel like that played a part mm-hmm. of ESTG. I don't mm. know if y'all familiar, but like, you know, he was the top linebacker in, in his state. You feel me? He went to uh, Indiana State, I think. Did, yeah. did whatever he did over there. And then now he just came with that, 
that confidence in the music game, he just took that shit over. It's all about how you channel it. Yes. You know? Got to yeah. channel that energy. Yeah, you got to channel it correctly. Yep, yep, transmutation. Yeah. Right. Okay. Hey, tap in, man. Let's get it in. Favorite place Perfect. you like to eat in Charlotte? Uh, my favorite place right now is Cuzzo's Cuisine, mm. followed up by, this is going to sound funny, but I just go to Crab Legs, and I, I mean, I go to Publix and get the Crab Legs. I go to the grocery <laughs> store. They got the best motherfucking Crab Legs in the whole city right <laughs> Publix. now. Publix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go to Publix. I, I make my own buddy in the motherfucking house, and I just do it like that. But hey, um, That's good. Uh, Cuzzo's Cuisine on Tuck, on Tuck and CG, man. That shit don't miss. I feel yeah. for that every chance I get. That's yeah. it, man. And yes. Salada too. They just uh I used to live in Houston and they had a Salada down there. It's black yeah. owned. They just bought a Salada to Charlotte. It's in downtown Charlotte. So that's my that's my runner up right there. Now, Ghost Man, once you start getting bigger and bigger, do you want to stay in Charlotte or kind of venture out to another state? Oh, bro, this is gonna be this is one of my this is gonna be my last year in Charlotte. You know, I'm about to get up out of here. I've been back and forth, but you know, I spent a great deal of time in LA. I normally tell people I live there because I was there weekly. Yeah, for two years straight from 20, 2018 to 2020, I was in LA. Yeah. Uh, I lived in Houston for two years, and then I come back to Charlotte every now and then. But this is my final run, man. Like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. There you go. That's yeah, what's up, gotta, boy. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, Charlotte could it could be a little suffocating sometimes if you've been there a long time. Oh man, I've been here too long, and it's just a tough city for entrepreneurs, man. It's just mm. a working class city, the minds is different. It's the yeah. Bible Belt, really. Like, you know, and it's only because I li I travel so much I, to all the hubs, all the major cities in in America. Yeah. I'm, I frequent. So I'm not there on tourist activity. Like, I know the ways and most, mostly all of these major cities. So I just know what I want for myself and what I got to do to get it, get it done. So you would rather be in L.A. than any place else? You like the palm trees out there? Man, L.A. brought me the most money, so I uh, that's why I want to get to L.A. Houston showed me the most love, but I don't got no business in Houston, so that's yeah. why I'm not there. But as okay. far as, like, I got I want to blow this music shit through the roof, so yeah. I don't know how, I don't know if I got the connections for that in L.A., but I know I can get the money out there. Yeah. I need to be going to Atlanta. You there know, you go. I was about to ask too. you yeah. next. So, so, so Atlanta and L.A., either yeah. or. Yeah, I need to be going to Atlanta. I, if I'm thinking about my family, I, it's Houston, cause that's why I want to raise my kids and shit. But I wow. ain't really, I don't really got time to be on it like that. I got, like I said, I got to get this shit off the ground. So it needs to be Atlanta. It's close to Charlotte, so yeah. I'm still, I still can see my family. Right. I'm in the mecca of black hip hop. You feel me? If yeah. I'm really, if I'm as serious as I say about it, it can happen there. Yeah, I've I've drove through Houston one time and it's very compact. It's very small. It seems like you get kidnapped out there real fast. Houston? Yeah, Houston. Yeah. Bro, Houston is big as hell. Yeah, Houston. Well, well, not nah, yeah, Houston because I the whole damn Texas is big. Yeah. <laughs> I think even Dallas is, is is bigger. Dallas is huge, bro. It's huge. So yeah, Houston about two hours long. But you see what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying you get kidnapped out there because it's so big and it's so many different people you just don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, when I was living out there, that was when I first started. Like, they started showing me, they showed me so much love in Houston. Yeah. They, people had to catch up. You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> nobody was letting me know. I mean, people had to catch up at home. I wouldn't, when I left, I wasn't getting the type of love I was getting in Houston. When I, I mean, in Charlotte, when I left Charlotte, and then I went down there. We opened up the store. I would perform in the wow. store every Monday, and they was just showing the nigga so much love, and it made yeah. it made all my hometown shit. You know, it prompted mm -hmm. me to come back and be who I am now. So you but know, you, but you know what? You're absolutely right because, like I tell my partner here all the time, you'll receive so much love from strangers in other states that people that don't even know you, right? Instead of the same love in your hometown. But you know what it is, man? Like, mm -hmm. what, what you was just speaking on earlier, like, it wasn't me that was trying to let, limit myself to only being a ball player. The whole yeah. hood only wanted me to be a ball player. So wow. when I started rapping, the shit I started rapping about, they just didn't want to, they didn't want to believe it. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't want to believe I could ever get into trouble. I could ever do anything crazy, you know? Yeah. And not that, not to make that sound braggadocious, but they yeah. just didn't want to take me as I was. When I moved to Houston, they ain't had no choice. Nobody even knew my real name. They, 
because I'm yeah. telling them, yo, my name is Ghost. So they taking me as my as I present myself. Exactly. And I built I built off that. So yep. back at and home, everybody just like, man, that's Mac the Ref from down the street, man. I mean, that's Mac the Hoop from yeah. down the street. So yeah. You know, and it's crazy because people will keep you in that that crab in the barrel mentality like they is. Yep. So hey, it's time to move. It's time to uh take it to a different state. Got to. <laughs> okay. What advice can you give to all the up and coming rappers coming up underneath you? Um, man, make sure your confidence is second to none. You know mm. what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta really mean this shit. And more than meaning it, you gotta believe this shit. Yes. You know. And um, make sure your definitions is proper, like all your definitions. So if you say you focusing on something, make sure yeah. you understand what it means to focus. Yeah. You know, if you say you locked in, make sure because we all got different definitions. Make sure yours is strong and proper, yeah. and it's a you know it's logic behind you saying, "Oh, I was focused. I did give it all that I got." Because sometimes mm. we get lost in it. You know, we got to be purposeful out here. Otherwise, yeah. it's gonna be an uphill battle. And yep. and really, artists, bro. Any anybody coming behind me who don't have no family, no kids, I would encourage you not to do that shit until you get to where you're going. Cause mm -hmm. you know, when you when you're an entrepreneur and you're an artist trying to build a brand, you don't wanna get you don't want anything to be in your way. See, I got a I got a whole family, so I gotta balance a lot of shit before I can do anything. I understand. And a lot of people don't know that, but that's the way I present myself. But you know, and then yeah. even when I'm doing my thing. I got my family on my mind. I got to call them when I'm out of town. It's a lot of shit I got to worry about. I can never just go crazy how I, yeah. how I should be able to. Right. I'm not making no excuses, but what I'm saying is I made this shit an uphill battle. So, That's you know, right. I try, to, I try to encourage people. Like, man, if you 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 25, man, you 24, don't make this shit an uphill battle. You feel mm -hmm. me? You don't got no money for real. Don't make this shit an uphill battle. Lock yeah. in, focus, and be confident about yeah. everything you say you want for yourself. That's it, Ghost Man. Ghost Man yeah. tap in. Best podcast in the Carolina. Speaking facts. Okay. Hey, who do you do this for when you wake up every day? Oh, man. My kids, man. You know, I wake up. I look at my kids. First, I look in the mirror. I do. I know if I don't put myself first, I can never be the best version of me for my kids. So I look yeah. in that mirror. I'm going to do this shit for myself. Then I look at my kids and I say, there's certain things that y'all just not supposed to go through. So, you know, I got to I gotta make this shit you know, above average, you feel me? Right. Yeah, and I go out to the world and I, I make my, I make the world my bitch. And then I go out there and kick ass. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> for real, nigga. That's for sure, man. So, all right. Best podcast. Let them know where we can find you at on all platforms, player. Oh, uh, man. The Southside goes on all Disney streaming uh, platforms and services, man. Uh, Ghost Man on all social media handles. All right, all right. You heard Ghost me. Man spelled G A U X S T M A N. All right, big ghost man. You hear me? Best podcast in the Carolina Sports Betters Media. I am Hip Hop Mag 704 Ghost. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all having me, man. For real. It man, a lot. We appreciate your time, boy. I got your number. And anytime we shoot out to Charlotte, I'm calling you. Yes, sir, man. Let's do it. Okay. All right, brother, man. Much Already. Work. All right, baby. All right.